From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of, of Afternoons LA Late with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. The House of Representatives overnight passed a voting rights legislation, which is huge, because now it's sent to the Senate, and this tees up the Senate rules change vote at this coming Tuesday. And that Senate vote, vote on Tuesday could signal the end of the impetus, the blockading of the Force Stimulus Recon. The Force Stimulus Recon is in the Senate, and the vote coming on Tuesday is critical. All the latest details in today's recording. The Force Stimulus Recon has lots of checks, multiple checks, at least $15,000 in there, and I'm going to go over all of them across the board. The third stimulus, you may have gotten this earlier this year from this channel, or late last year, or early last year. But guess what? You can get another round of money today, upwards of $45,000 that the viewers continue to get, and I'm going to have the latest details in today's recording. We're going to go over student loan debt forgiveness, the latest details on that, the offer from the White House, and will the Democrats take it? Then we'll be turning to this stimulus, Nicola Ray's, and what you need to know about that. It came in in January, and people are still asking questions. All of their answers in today's recording, direct from Santa Monica, California, on a big, bold, beautiful weekend across the board. Those details are more, plus the latest economic data that came in from Capitol Hill, from the Labor Department, and also from the Federal Reserve, and the new implication of where we're going next Tuesday, with a major vote on Tuesday. Now, legislation passed in the House, now off to the Senate. This is big for your recall. I'll explain all the incredible details as the push is underway to get you these multiple checks, lots of checks, upwards of $15,000 just to start. And this is your Force Stimulus Recon, your Build Back Better Act, your incredible recon, all that incredible sums of money, all those incredible details being featured in today's recording. I'm excited to be back with you. I'm excited to be back on air. And the excitement starts right here, right now, as Afternoons Ally gets underway, direct from Santa Monica, this big, bold, beautiful afternoon. Hey, good afternoon, noon, everybody. I hope you're doing well, and welcome back. This is a brand new recording, and it is a beautiful big weekend. The House of Representatives passed a voting rights legislation overnight. It is now in the Senate, and this is important because the Senate changes to its rules could be teed up as early as this Tuesday. There is a major vote happening this coming Tuesday. In this recording, we're going to go over what this vote means now that a House passage of a major legislation happened overnight. We're going to turn back into the Force Simmons Recon, the Build Back Better Act that has about $15,000 of checks in there. I'm going to go over the latest details in today's recording. We're going to turn to third stimulus, how you can get sums of money for this as well. New year, new sums of money, new rounds of money, all the latest details on afternoons. Student loan debt forgiveness, the latest details on that coming up in today's recording as well. Then fifth stimulus, I've gotten your questions, and I'll be answering them on air today about how that colo raise works and what it means across the board. Then we'll be going over the latest financial data about inflation, about Omicron, about labor numbers, and about the interest rates and where we're going. Those incredible details coming up in today's recording. There's a lot of breaking news. I'm excited you're here. It's a big weekend with a lot of news across the board. So go under this video right now and subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, you're watching LA, a number three most watched financial news channel in America. We continue to grow with new programming on across the board. You saw it overnight. You saw it last night. Overnight's L8 has now been rebranded across the board. The shows appearing before early morning's L8 is now called Sunrise L8. We have shows across the board 24-7 on the hour, by the hour, to give you incredible sums of money, financial freedom, money across the board, all that incredible details come into this channel with the new Metaverse crypto show airing overnight last night. It was a blockbuster trending on social media. 
and now the new Metaverse show coming to this channel. A lot of new programming, a lot of ability. I don't care if you're seniors, if you're retired, if you're on disabilities. I'm going to show you how to big, get big sums of money in a big, bold, beautiful new year. It's a big new look to LA, and I'm excited you're part of this incredible family. So subscribe, like this video, consider becoming a member. Let's go right into this incredible recon. This is your Force Symbols Recon, and understand how we are going to the finish line across the board. Very, very elaborate situation. I'm going to go a little bit different today because I'm going to go right into the details to explain to you what's happening so that you get guidance of it, and then we're going to go into the money itself. All right, where are we? Very, very complicated, but I'm going to make it simple for you. Overnight, the House of Representatives passed a voting rights initiatives, initiative bill. It's about voting rights. It's not about recon. But why is this important for your recon? Let me explain to you why. It's now been sent to the Senate. And the Senate will call for a vote as early as this Tuesday, says Leader Schumer. Now, this is not a, you know, a sort of vague date. It will likely be Tuesday or Monday or Wednesday. I believe it will be on Tuesday. Schumer issued a statement on Thursday. I read it on camera yesterday. If you missed that recording, go watch this now archived. When he calls the vote on the voting right bill in the Senate on Tuesday, he expects the Republicans to say, no, I want to block it. I want to block the vote. I don't want the vote to happen, yada, yada, yada. Okay, this is all plotted out. This is all a chess game he has plotted out. He has not told a lot of uh, senators what he's doing, so a lot of this is tea leaves. So far, we know this. He will call the vote on the Voting Rights Initiative on Tuesday. He expects the Republicans to ambush it, to block the vote. Then he is going to default to calling a vote to change the Senate rules. This we know so far. What happens after that, we don't know. It is that suspenseful. Why? He's not even telling fellow Democrats. What does this mean for your money? What does this mean for your wallet? What does this mean for multiple stimulus checks? What does this mean for your payments of money into your wallet? It means that when he calls the, uh, the rules change for the Senate, he's trying to change decades-old rules about how the Senate votes on legislation, calls things for a vote, and the number of votes needed to pass legislation. Now, you've been watching this channel for over a year, and you understand, well, recon, you just need Democratic votes. It's very simple, isn't that? He's trying to make it even simpler than that, even easier than that. He doesn't need to do a complete overhaul of the system, overhaul of the rules. He's trying to tinker it with it. Do I think he's going to get it done? It's a nail-biter. <laughs> it's a nail-biter. If he doesn't get it done, it doesn't kill the recon. If he gets it sort of done, it helps the recon. If he gets it done these rule changes a lot... It really helps get the recon passed. All right, so where is that recon? Where is that Force Symbols recon? You missed me for three weeks. I missed you. Did the recon go off by the sidelines? What, what happened with it? So the recon is basically sort of on the, just sort of sitting there in the Senate. It passed in the House in late December and had all those incredible provisions, but provisions were missing. Provisions need to be added. Changes need to be added by Schumer by Sanders, by Warren, by Wyden, they never got to getting those changes made. Doesn't mean their time has run out, they just, they never had their opportunity. It was put on the sideline. It's sort of like the Monaco Grand Prix, and the Grand Prix with the with the cars racing around the port of Monaco. And they say, we're going to halt up for a second, we're having a croissant break. A croissant break? I don't like croissants. Too buttery. <laughs> well, just sit and wait for a second, we'll bring you some cappuccino. Cappuccino. So they, it is literally on the sideline. It is literally just holding in a bay, holding in a hold mode at the moment. So they never got to the modifications, they never got the modifications. When would the modifications occur? Likely in subcommittees of the Senate. Votorama never happened, never even got to that step. We're far before that step. They don't care, they don't look, they don't want. No, they do, they do, they do. They think that this rule changes to the Senate will make this and all the other bodies of legislation so much easier across the board. I told you I'm going a little bit off of different off of structure today because there's so much breaking news in the last three weeks. Uh, a lot of things have happened, and so I'm trying to get you caught up. A lot of people, I know there's a lot of shows on the show. I know there's a lot of shows on Daily on, on, on daily Currents on this channel. And I know some are, are, are encore shows and some are brand new shows. This is a brand new show that is being taped on Saturday, the 15th of 2022. 
but some people are still sending me messages just on social media saying, when are you back coming back on camera? I'm like, I've been back on camera. Really? I did not know that. <laughs> So watch for the point SETI plans. This is the this is the, the new shows. What is passing? What is, you know, the time of life is sort of passing. Uh so and if I change the set, I will tell you the change the set. That's how you know it's new shows with this point SETI plans. Um let's go over what's important to when we're talking about this recon. There's a series of quotes out there from House representatives, senators. I don't really care about them. I don't care. I go to the top of the food chain, the president of the United States. His chief of his uh, communications director, actually spokesperson, Andrew Bates, issued a statement uh, yesterday who said that the recon's going to pass. Don't worry, it will pass. That's all I got to run. That is the only type of quote I got to run on this channel. He says that every major economic bill that we have passed this White House administration under Joe Biden, like the American Rescue Plan, the second stimulus, like the bipartisan infrastructure bill, has seen ups and downs, required to do the work to get the, uh, and we're going to get it done. It requires turning down the noise. Turning down the noise means a lot, a lot of chat, not a lot of chatter. That is hard for some viewers. It's hard for a reporter like myself because chatter helps you give updates about twists and turns. This provision got in there. This provision got out of there. Maybe this provision is in trouble. Maybe this provision is getting added to. If you turn down the noise, you don't have uh, the quote. You don't have the quote to run. And that is problematic. But we have learned on this channel before that turning down the nose, get noise, nose, not nose, turning down the nose, no. Turning down the noise helps get the provisions done. So all, all those provisions, which we covered on this channel in those months, are still in there, all the provisions that Sanders, Schumer, Warren, Wine, and all those people that wanted to add in there, they never got to adding them in there does not mean it's not in there. It means they never got to it. It's not finished. We haven't finished that equation, part of the equation. So let's go over those incredible provisions across the board that are in this incredible recon. It is three clusters of checks and three add-ons. Let's get that pen and paper ready. Take notes. Um, bring your questions on air. Noontime L Light is now rebranded as Home L Light. You know, as Holidays L Light. It's a live interactive show. That is a show in which I answer your questions live on air with a live chat um, when it airs. It may be live today. It was live yesterday. So let's go over all these incredible provisions. And we start with cluster number one. Uh, first, let's understand that all these incredible provisions of checks in there have at least about $15,000, but you're going to see quickly it's upwards of about $60,000. Cluster number one got in there and it's still in there, has a pay, earning income tax credit for one more year, elder care, $4,000, care for young children got in there. The CTC, remember that one? Third stimulus, it's expired, so they wish to extend it under four stimulus, $3,600 approximately for low-income families. $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle got in that first cluster. And then they got in there the money to repair your home if you live in a low-income community. A lot of people are very excited about that provision. I am as well. The first add-on of checks comes from the illustrious Maxine Waters from Southern California. $25,000 of checks um, that would be uh, for purchase of your first home. How much? It will likely be a little bit less. She wanted to give you $25,000, but it's going to be a little bit less. This is money to buy your first home. Lingland, Ryan, a lot of people are very excited about this provision. We don't know much more about it at the moment, except it's first time and it's a single family residence. Uh, anything beyond that, we don't know the details just yet, but we're staying in tune because remember, legislation gets modified when they have it in, across, in different places across the board. All right, let's go to the second uh, that is that is the uh, this this um, the first add-on. The second add-on comes from excuse me. The second cluster checks um, is the home repairs and paid leave. Now this is with this is uh, to weatherize your home. This is a sustain natural disaster. Oh boy, what a day to make that recording to make this recording. Why there is a very bad tsunami out in the Pacific. And they're now giving alerts to Southern California, where I am located right now. I'm not in danger, so I just want to make that very clear to you. But they're giving big alerts to the beach communities of Southern California right now that that tsunami could be on our shores in a few hours. So, yeah, Lord, um, that's what we're talking about, weatherizing your home to sustain 
uh, tornado, uh, tsunamis. Uh, tsunami is not a normal occurrence, but here we go. Uh, my deepest prayers and thoughts to all those beach communities from Malibu all the way down to almost Palos Verdes. It is a very big threat right today. It may not materialize, but at the moment it is a threat and people are supposed to be on high alert. Do not go into the surf. Do not go near the beach to observe it. Please stay away. Do not go near storm drains or anything like that. It is very serious and it's happening. Uh, this recording is made a sunrise on Saturday morning. So let's see what happens later today. All right, let's go to the second add-on of checks. And that second add-on of checks is helpful for so many millions of Americans. It is home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Wow, $250 billion got it in there from Bob Casey. He wanted to give it to you, and so did Joe Biden. They got it in there. This is a lot of money, about $250 billion across the board. Let's go to that third cluster of checks. That third cluster of checks is a lot, and it is seniors and free internet. So get your pen and paper ready. Here we go over some of the details right now. Free school meals for all checks. Immigration reform removed by the Senate Parliamentarian. Tax break checks, cheaper prescription medication. They also got in there the money for the farmers, the money for the free internet, the money for the independent contractors, and then for the seniors. Two provisions done, but two still to be added. They got in there the hearing and the lowering the LG and the Medicaid gap fix. That's on the House side. But the Senate still has other provisions they need to do, a.k.a. Bernie Sanders. They are dental vision and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare. Bernie wants to bring it down to 55 from 65. Bob Casey wants to do 60. So they never got to that. Doesn't mean it's not in there. It means it's, they haven't had time to get to it because of all the other dramatics they've been dealing with across the board. Which brings us to the third and most important provision across the land, which is MSE, Multiple IRS Stimulus Check. Let's go over the details of this. The reason why we refer to it as MSC is because this is the one that would be sent out by IRS. There are multiple checks in this recon. Lots of checks that are mounting to $15,000, but this is the one that would come out from IRS. The M refers to either multiple or monthly, however you want to describe it. The legislators have told viewers of this channel, the senators have told viewers of this channel, thousands of viewers since the month of May, that they will be added it in there. Now, remember, they haven't gotten to adding or removing anything across the board. So that at time is still happening. When they talk about this, what are they referring to? What have they indicated to the viewers of this channel? So they say that they want to do it the same as a third stimulus check and the eligibility remaining the same. What was the eligibility for a third stimulus check? And hence, what would be the eligibility for a fourth stimulus check? IRS, single individual, 75,000 less, gets it. Married couple, 150,000 less, double it, gets it. Family of four, quadruple, gets it. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, rare oil benefits, get it as well. It's not income, it's not taxable, it's nationwide. It's offered nationwide. There's no state that is specific to. It is a national program. This is a money that will be sent out by IRS to you. This is different than the multiple checks that are already in this recon that amount to at least somewhere between fifteen dollars to $60,000 of checks. And this provision is a provision that they vow to add in on the Senate side. The push to do MSC the the biggest push in the United States is this channel. There is an American petition out there that has 3 million signatures. The viewers of this channel have delivered 9 million phone calls, 300% higher. We are at 3 million phone calls in the month of October, says the number one guy on that recon, his chief of staff, to viewers of this channel back in October. At that time, we're at 3 million. American Petition still 3 million. We're at 9 million folks right now. So don't let anyone undervalue your contribution to the situation. Everyone's contribution helps. The American Petition's contribution helps, but don't let them make the American Petition the rallying cry because you have delivered a lot more and you need to continue to push across the board. Here's what that incredible message says from the chief guy for that recon. They now have in total between senators and congressional and senators' offices who be seeing more contact of advocacy from the Allied Purple Power than the number of signatures in the American petition. Everyone's amazed by the outpouring touching stories. Again, this is from October. Now they have a better understanding of what Americans are going through than a bunch of signatures. 
They have heartbreaking stories, and they're the voice of the people across the nation. You ally, as you have become too loud to be ignored. Very, very kind. Let me read the last sentence on air together as a family for you and I to read to, and hear together. Please continue your heartbreaking stories and please continue your encouragement for the continued advocacy of the professional voice of the people you have become until this becomes law. Absolutely. Your situation may be different today in the face of Omicron than it was in the month of December. Pick up the phone and advocate and say why you need it, why your family needs a community, your health, your medical, your financial reason. You aren't calling up to ask where it is. You're not calling up to ask, is it in there? Because remember, they don't have a finished bill. The bill ain't finished. So it's sort of like calling up and asking for something that doesn't exist. They don't have a finished bill. So why would you ask, is it in there? The bill's not finished. Number two, don't be asking uh, details of when is it going in or how it's going in because they don't know. They don't know any more than you and I know. And I'm giving you all the incredible details. In fact, staffers don't know more, don't know the, the nuances of Chuck Schumer with the voting right thing on Tuesday. They, that's not their job to track that. So they're not going to know anything more than I am reporting to you. I'm giving you all the incredible details. You're not going to learn anything more. The purpose of your phone call is to keep them abreast to your needs. Legislators are elected to represent your interests. And they represent your interests even if you're not in their state. They're to represent your interests, but they don't know you need something unless you tell them. And you may have advocated in the month of October. You may have picked up the phone and called Ron Wyan's office in September. But Ron Wyan's office doesn't know that you need something unless you pick up the phone and say it again. And that is why it's important to advocate to those legislators. And who you want to advocate to? Senators. Casey Coons. Warren Wyden. Sanders and Schumer. You're not advocating to House because we're out of the House. We're now in the Senate. Again, you want to advocate to Casey, Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. Personal note, I think you sort of know this, but I also want to say it because it's sort of obvious. Again, we don't have a finished Senate bill. We don't have something that's ready to call for a vote. The legislation's not done. So do not be on... How would you be? Uh, how would I say it? Do not be on on a on a mode or a mindset to watch for someone's comment. Uh, Liz Warren says she's not going to give it to you, or uh, Bernie said that maybe he's going to water it down. Don't be on that mindset of looking for that type of statement because one, if someone posts it, you know it's totally crap all up. <laughs> you know it's you know it's junk. You know it's junk because we don't have a body of legislation finished yet. So if anyone's saying, uh, calling, uh, posting a message saying it's not in there, it is in there, it's reduced, it's watered down, they're, they're, they are making up a story. They are making up a fake narrative for you. We don't have a finished body of legislation. That is why it's important to advocate. It's also important to advocate for everything else in this incredible recon across the board that you need to put in there. Um, and that money includes everything from the first time home purchases to the weatherize your home, all those incredible provisions across the board. Make sure you advocate for those sums of money that you need to put in there. And with that, in the second half of this video, we're going to go over the incredible details of what's coming up on Tuesday. A lot of dramatics across the board of all the big voting details of what you need to know coming in Tuesday. It is a full alert. I'm going to get you all caught up going into Monday because this coming week is going to be dramatics like you haven't seen in many months. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over the incredible provisions that are in this recon one at a time. And then we're going to go over the Senate changes that are added to them. We're going to go over the big money that amounts to $15,000. We're going to go over a third stimulus that you can pay you about $45,000 again. Yeah, again. Student loan debt forgiveness. We're going to go over the latest details on that. And then you've had some great questions about COLA coming now in January, which is where we are right now. I'll have all those details and more. Those details and more coming up in the second half of this video. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as New Afternoons Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them 
and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement's... <laughs> there, there we go. I just cut him off, didn't I? I cut myself off. How awful is that? <clears throat> Let's cue some music. In the second half of this video, <laughs> I cut myself off. We're going to go over the set of changes that are in the incredible recon and how they're going to get them done across the board. We're going to go over the programs that pay at least $15,000 of checks. Then we'll be turning back to thirds and what you need to know about that in the second half. We'll be turning to soon loan tax forgiveness and what the Democrats could be doing. We'll be going over that fist stimulus cola raise. A lot of people have been asking questions about that. That's coming up in the second half of this video. So much details, so much excitement, and so little time. We got a lot to catch up across the board. It's a big second half of today's video. I'm excited you're here. But first, go under the video and make sure you subscribe. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. I want you part of the incredible family. A lot of shows coming up today. We have a big new evenings, our light evenings countdown, street and stimulus, and then evenings extra tonight as well. Overnight's Allied airing later tonight, and then we go into the new hit series of programming called Sunrise Allied before early morning's Allied as well. Big lot of shows coming up later across the board. I want you to subscribe if you've just found this channel. This is the number three most watched financial news channel in America, the most comprehensive, most detailed information about your money across the board. And with that, let's go into everything you need to know about what's happening on Tuesday, starting right now. A lot of dramatics happening on Tuesday, and the details at issue is the following. First, the Build Back Better Act will get passed. It will be the same body of legislation. It will not be reduced across the board into a new body of legislation. It'll stay where it will, where it is. Will it be modified? Yes. Will it be called for a vote on Tuesday? No. But will the body of a legislation be made easier by some events on Tuesday? Absolutely, if they go as planned. Overnight, the House of Representatives passed a voting rights of that legislation. That voting rights of legislation is now in the Senate. It will be called for a vote on Tuesday or Monday by Chuck Schumer. It will then face opposition from Republicans, as anticipated. That opposition will then cause Chuck Schumer to call a vote to change the Senate rules. And the manner in which he changes the Senate rules, this is where it's a guessing game. It's a very dramatic event that we have never seen in the history of the channel where I don't know the answer, fellow senators don't know the answer, and it makes passing recon and all other bodies of legislation for you, like fist stimulus right behind that, easier across the board. All those dramatics kick in on Tuesday. What has happened in the weeks since I've been gone? We had one organization called the American, let me say it right, <laughs> uh, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, U.S. Chamber of Commerce. They are not a government agency. They are a, lo a private, private lobbyist group that are trying to block your recon. They haven't met you, have they? <clears throat> they haven't met you, have they? And what do they want to do? They want to block the recon. They are not the U.S. Department of Treasure of Commerce. They are the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, very different. And they're a private organization. They have offices across the country, main offices in D.C., and they want to kill the recon. They admit they want to kill the recon. So push back. Go on social media, advocate against them. Pick up the phone and call your senators, advocate against them. Pick up the phone and call them and say, no, you ain't going to have your way. We're going to get this recon passed. Why do they not want the recon passed? Two reasons, both um, ridiculousness. One, they say the recon will cause inflation. It will not. Number two, they say the recon will kill American businesses because the corporate tax rate will go up 2%. <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. If you have a business and you can't afford 2% more in taxes per year, then you need to get out of business. That is a business on life support. That is not a viable business. Um, and that is, it's ridiculous that an organization would actually say that we represent businesses' interests and they'll die if, they, if their corporate tax rate goes up 2%. Uh, 
that it's it's just ridiculous because remember their corporate tax rate was higher before Trump came in office. Then he lowered it. So how does this even make sense? So were their businesses dead before Trump came in office and now they're alive? Then none of this makes any sense. Um, let's go to the importance of what you need to do is push back, push back, and push back. Next, I want you to zone out any negativity out there. There's a series of quotes that I'm not running on camera where legislators who are senators or actually House members, not even senators, they're House members, they represent a, a district that has 2,000 residents that says, I don't know what's going on with the recon. I don't need you to know what you're going on with the recon. You represent 2,000 residents in your, in, your, in your jurisdiction. All I need to know is what the president's saying. And when Andrew Bates, it's the president's chief of uh, White House correspondence or, or spokesperson says, we're going to get the recon done, that's all I got to know. I got to know he's on board. I need to know Chuck is on board. I need to know Nancy's on board. That's all I need to worry about. I don't need to worry about any sort of naysayers out there. Next. Um, there is a lot of excitement out there, and there's a lot of anticipation across the board. The Forest Service Recon has lots of checks in there. And what I want you to understand is that this channel has not has never been a one instrument channel. It has never been about one item and one item only. Wasn't that way, never will be that way. So I'm going to cover every item as though it is as important as the next. And I want you to be laser focused and be open minded that you qualify for these items, lots of them, and you want to get as many of them and not be focused on only one item. I am not uh, here for just one instrument and you shouldn't be either as well. And let's go over some of the incredible provision, this incredible recon. Let's go over some of the details of where they are and what's happening with them. And we'll start with them right now. These checks amount to, I say 15000 but maybe upwards of fifty dollars to $60,000 of multiple checks in this incredible recon. If you've been with these since January 2021, you know that as soon as third stimulus became law, I say I can get you about $15,000. i have gotten viewers on average $45,000. This is what I do. I get people money. I get you lots of money. And when I look at this Force Stimulus Recon, I know that there is a lot of money I can get you in this recon. So get that pen and paper ready. Right now, we're going to go over some of these checks, and we're going to go over them starting right now. There goes the graphic. All right. First, they got in there paid leave. It's a lot of money. $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year, approximately. If you make $35,000 or more per year, it is $800 a week. If you make $15,000 annual salary, it's about $400 a week. If you don't work, but your son and daughter does work and takes you to the doctor once a week, they get the check. How many weeks per year? Up to four weeks per year. So yeah, there's a lot of money, five to $6,000 across the board. Then they got in the salt cap. Raising it to $72,500 of what you need to deduct on state and local taxes on your federal tax return. It's currently $10,000 under the modifications of the Trump administration. They got in there cheaper prescription medication. Great. They got $40 billion of free job training. Very important. Millions of Americans want to have a higher paying job. They got the Medicaid gap fix in there as well. Very important. That Medicaid gap fix is very important across the board because why? Uh, there are 12 Republican states that vowed never to pay for Obamacare, and by never paying for Obamacare, what were they doing? Trying not to provide you these sums of money. So what are they doing? Well, what they're doing is they're providing a workaround plan in those 12 Republican states where they'll provide subsidized private insurance for years to come so that uninsured people in those states get insurance. I mean, how wonderful is that? God, God bless Raphael Warnock, who came up with this, and Joe Manchin, it was his, his idea to get in there. So great work by the two of them. They got in there a lot of other provisions, but they got in there a housing provisions, and two are new, and the rest are re reoccurring. The two that are new are home repairs, if you live in a low-income community, and weatherize your home, and the other ones... <laughs> are very familiar. They are back from third stimulus. And what are they? Rent, utilities, mortgages, this is more. And with that, let's take a detour just for a second over to third stimulus because guess what? You don't have to wait for fourth stimulus to become a law. You can get these sums of money right now and boy, is it a lot of it. And these sums of money have paid viewers over and over and over from this channel in recent months. Let's go over all the details of it right now. And I know it's a lot to grasp and it's a lot to comprehend for a recording you're watching in January 2022 about a third stimulus recon that passed in January 2021. 
Yes. All right. Let's go over the details. When third stimulus was passed in January 2021, I said there's a lot of money in here and I can get you a lot of this money. You were used to getting this money because we had gotten some of it under the tail end of second stimulus. It's rent, utilities, mortgage assistance. When it became live in January 2021, I showed you how to view it, get it, and viewers didn't get 15,000, they got on average 45,000. Last summer, they got another round. Then in Christmas, we called it Christmas stimulus because viewers got uh, more of it again. Can you get it again now? Yeah, you can. You can get another round, and we're going to go over all the details of why it's so important and why this round may be one of the best rounds you've gotten in a while. Let's go over the sums of money and let's go over each of them one at a time. If you're a member of this channel, pull out the newsletter, follow along with me. If you're not a member, go under this video's description and become a member today to get that incredible newsletter that comes out Monday through Friday. This is how people are getting massive sums of money from this channel. It's detailed in the newsletter, but follow along right now as I go through these sums of money. And we'll start with first the rent. The rent was, in the month of October, this graphic. Here you go. This is what it was in the month of October. It is now upwards of $40,000. Why has it gone up a lot? Because viewers have gotten better at doing this. Where do you get the rent? Six places. Six places. You ready? Follow along with the newsletter. If you're not a member, write it down. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, State House Authority. You call them up. And then you ask the following key words. Rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage use assistance because of COVID. Utility assistance because of COVID. I have trained, I have guided, I have helped viewers do this since winter of 2020. So we are in nearly the second year of me doing this. And I've helped single individuals, married couples, elders, people on disabilities, seniors. They have all done it. You can do it as well. You have the ability to do it. I had a very nasty comment I saw on social media yesterday saying, um, the quote, so-called volunteers never have really ever responded to me and got to me any money. I wanted them to give me money. No, no, no. This is not what I, this is not the purpose of the channel. This channel is not a channel that just hands out cash like a donation. This is a channel that empowers you with information to get the sums of money. And these people on this graphic here are people who listened, took notes, re-listened, learned, and did it themselves. And here is Mark at $25,000. let us look at utilities. Here's Mark again. He got $6,500. But Mark's brother, Mark told his brother-in-law what he had learned, and Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000 of utilities. Then Mark's brother-in-law was told by Mark to go get SNAP. SNAP is money for food. You get from the Department of Agriculture. Reach out and get that money for food. Eligibility is like a third stimulus check. And Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year. Over the next 10 years, he'll get a quarter million dollars for this channel. One of the true legacies of this channel is SNAP. You can get it. You can pick up the phone. You have the ability to pick up the phone and dial a phone. I know you can do it across the board. Combo. You want to get multiple items across the board. Nancy and Art Sullivan, excuse me, Nisi and Art Sullivan had gotten three items. I told viewers to keep on getting multiple sums of money. They did. And now Nisi and Art Sullivan inspired entire generation. He was Mark at two items of 32,000. Now Mark has grown to 50,000. When he got more items, now he's at over 100,000. Lorraine, she was at 105. Now she's at 120. Get those multiple items across the board. Next, let's turn to the incredible inspirational story of Johnny, which truly embodies how we do this and how you do it correctly. Johnny started a particular week on this channel watching, and he was like two other viewers of the week on Monday at zero dollars. By Wednesday, the three viewers like Johnny each had gotten three programs approved at 45000 But Johnny heard my recordings were said, keep on getting all the sums of money, and he did. By the end of the week, Johnny got seven programs approved and 80 thousand dollars wow now why is johnny's story important it's a three-part story part one of his story is not so much that he got seven programs approved but that he made so many phone calls to get seven programs approved he had to have made at least 15 phone calls what i want you to learn in part one of johnny's story is that you're going to get some no's don't worry you're going to have a 50 percent rejection rate on the phone we're out of money we don't have any money it's gone uh we can't give you any money money we gave it to you before um Whatever, you're gonna have a 50% rejection rate. Expect the rejection, you're also gonna have a 50% success rate. Number two, 
you're not going to hear this anywhere else. This channel has been around now since April 2020, and I've done historic details in getting people money. $25 million of EID alone and grants, saving people's homes and businesses during the middle of the pandemic in spring of last year. Then, getting people $250,000 of rent in the middle of the pandemic in December 2020, when there was literally no money of this. Then, all last year, third stimulus, getting people massive sums of money. I have no idea. It's in the millions of dollars in last year. Showing people how to get money and make money in crypto. People making massive sums of money in crypto and, dis and metaverse crypto, especially uh, on the shell in, in, in recent months. This is what I do. This is how I show people how to get money and make money. See it anywhere else? No. Do I own their channels? No. Do I own the broadcast booth? Do I own the, 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 the satellites that send out this feed? Do I own the cable channel? No. The fact that they don't cover it, not my dealing. I don't own their channel. I don't own that cable news network. I This is Ally Light. And Ally is number three in the United States of Financial News Network. We're looking to become number two because this is what we do and this is what you learn. And as a community, we do so well. Those two family members never heard about this when Johnny told them by the end of the week they each got $50,000. Then, part three of Incredible Johnny's story shows you how to keep on pushing. He had people coming over his house for weeks and they kept on saying, how do we get these sums of money? He showed them and by the end of the week they each got money. And in recent days, he showed me that he helped 32 people get $850,000. Wow. Let's go back into some of those other provisions in that incredible recon. Uh, and this is the fourth stimulus recon. We're going to go back into that recon. We were at the housing provision. Let's go back into it right now, one at a time, looking at these incredible provisions and learning what these sums of money are. Here we go. So... Also in this incredible recon is the following other provisions. They got in there the own in-home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Great. $250 billion of it. They got nutrition. $65 per month when you are not in school as a student. Then they got in there the cheaper prescription medication growing with 20 prescriptions on day one and growing to 20, uh, 2028 with 30 medications. Dramatic discounts for Medicare. This is Medicare prescription. Medicare Part B, Medicare Part D. They got $550 checks for Pell Grant for college students in there across the board. As you see, there's just lots of checks in here. And it, it's just so impressive across the board. Lots and lots of checks. They got in there um, the extension of some programs that you have seen in third stimulus and some new programs across the board. Let me flip to those pages so you see those as well. They got in there universal pre-kindergarten, which is new. They got extension of the, uh, the enhanced child tax credit, the child care credit, the earning income tax credit for one more year, and, and more across the board. So many details and so much that you need to know. And what's important to understand is that this is where the news rests. All right, let's turn to the big details of this stimulus, color rays, which teases up beautifully for the newest economic news that came out this week. All right, so Fistimus, your color raise went up this month. You should already be seeing your first higher check. Cola is a benchmark. Cola determines how much your benefits go up or stay the same the next year. Cola is a horrible benchmark. It has not moved for many, many years. But because inflation was good last year, high, cola went up. And it came in at 5.9%. So your benefits checks are going up lifetime at least 5.9% starting this year. They can go up more next year. But Fistimus looks to come in back behind it and change it. Fistimus first wants to remove the asset cap, remove the income cap, and remove the marriage penalty. And love is going to win, and viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married and no longer fear loss of benefits. More importantly, Fistimus looks to remove cola and replace it with inflation. How does this work? So inflation is a better benchmark because inflation is what you endure. You go to the cash register, you go to the gas pump, you feel inflation. So why not tie your benefits to inflation? It makes a lot of sense. And where is inflation going? It's going higher. And who has predicted that? Me. In spring of last year, 2021, the Federal Reserve said that the inflationary rate in December 2021, last month, would be 2%, 3%, transitory, temporary, with a graphic like this, going up and going back down. I said, no. I said, no, it's not. 
I said it's going to be 8%. And I said it's going to be longer than just a month. I felt the pressure. <laughs> I thought I was too high. And I reduced my number to 5%. I should have stayed at 8 Because why? Number came in yesterday, or two days ago. 7.5% was the inflation rate in December 2021. I hit it right on the money. I hit it right on the money. The Federal Reserve was wrong. I was right. Wall Street, they were looking at 3 4%. They were wrong. I was right. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. I'm just saying, you could just sense it was not that number. The way you sense inflation is you look at very basic things. The cash register, the supermarket, the gas pump. Uh, and then you look at supply chain. Now, here's what you need to know is that Omicron is creating its own inflationary event right now. So when I say it's 7.5% last month, ugh, yeah, you see me rolling in my eyes because if Omicron has created its own inflationary event. What is its inflationary event? It is because that staffs are calling in sick. They are out. 25, 35, 45% of a staff, whatever staff it is, whatever type of business, calling in sick. They call in sick, inflation kicks in. Why? They got to bring in temp labor. They have to pay more for labor or they have to use existing labor, pay overtime, cost more money. Oh, and they have to charge, they have to pass that expenditure over to the consumer. So when you go buy the bread, it ain't $3, it's $3.50 or $4 because they had to pay overtime because 20% of their staff is out. This is how it kicks in. A lot of details. Does this help uh, the recon? It does. Everyone is feeling the pinch. Everyone understands the details. A lot of details across the board. I'm excited. I'm here. I'm excited to be back with you. Thank you for your incredible messages during my absence. I'm trying to get to each and every single one of them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. One personal message from me to you today is that I just, uh, I'm still getting messages from people saying, when are you coming back on air? Are you, are you have any new recordings yet? And I'm like, yeah, I've been making new recordings. But I guess, you know, because there's so many shows on the sh channel and there are some encores, people have not seen that there's new shows. So to the extent you can tell people, hey, he's back on air, look for the points that it plants. Those are the new shows. Um, and, and tell them I am back. Uh, my schedule is a little mercurial at the moment so that I'm trying to get sort of into a groove to give you uh, a, a normal repertoire of new shows per day. But we're getting there one day at a time. Thank you for your incredible comments. And with that, I want you to follow this incredible family. So subscribe. Before 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful afternoon. Join me next as we go into Evenings LA, Evenings Countdown, Evenings Street and Stimulus, Overnights Allied, and the new Sunrise Allied. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for all your love. Thank you for all your sentiments. Continue to advocate across the board. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Allied for more.